Welcome to the Team Brock Ashby Body Quarters. My name is Brock Ashby, and today we're going to be going through a back and bicep workout. This is a workout from Built by Brock, which is a program that I run, and it is run on this app. Let me zoom in on here. So I'm gonna be ticking it off as we go. We are starting today with chin-ups, going into straight arm lat pull downs, barbell bent over rows, standing face pulls, and then we are doing uh, some trap work towards the end, which is meant to be bicep work, but if you know me and you've been following me for a while, I really don't do any direct arm work uh, because I think genetically I have uh, big-ish biceps. I like to spend time on other lagging body parts that I think I have, which are my traps. So that's what I do for this program. I just swap out any bicep, tricep work for other accessory work that I want to do. Anyway, let's get into it. First of all, for the chin-ups, we're going to do body weight before we add some weight. Body weight before add some weight. That could be a, could be a logo, a slogan. I mean, I'm not gonna warm up a ton for my chin-ups. I'm just gonna do that body weight set and then I'm gonna add an eight kilo weight. And the reason I'm not going very heavy with my weighted chin-ups is because the tempo is grueling. It's three seconds down, two second pause at the bottom in the stretched position to get my lats really stretched out at the bottom. And this tempo is super slow, super tiring. I can't handle much more weight than eight kilos to be very honest but I am going to do a warm-up set on the straight arm lat pull-down. Here we are, adding the eight kilos to the chin-ups. I know a lot of you will be thinking, why are you pausing two seconds at the bottom of the rep when it's meant to be hard at the top and that's where we should pause? I'm doing a pause in the stretch position for the lats to get that deep stretch, which is really good for building the muscle in the lats. If we pause at the top, nothing's really in the stretch position. We are stretching in the shortened position or squeezing in the shortened position, which is hard but it's slightly better for hypertrophy when you focus on the lengthened position of the muscle. So that's why I'm doing it. It's not easy stretching at the bottom of the pull-up too because my arms just aren't in the air. My shoulder blades are protracted. So my, my shoulders are up pretty much and I'm sinking down into that feeling, into that stretch. It's very, very sore the next day. Now we have the straight arm lat pull down for six reps as well, three, two, one, zero tempo. So.
Same tempo there, stretching out the lats in the stretch position. And the way that I like to count for keeping the tempo and the amount of reps that you're doing is you count the number of reps on the concentric part of the rep or the lifting part of the weight, lifting part of the exercise, and then you just count the rest of the reps. So for example, in the chin-ups, I was counting one and then down, two, three, one, two for the pause, and then I'd count two, one, two, three, one, two for the pause, three. So that way you keep the count of the reps as you pull yourself up and you keep a count of the tempo because as you get tired, there's so much temptation to just drop straight down on the eccentric because it's easier, but it's bad technique and you're missing out on the muscle building gains of the eccentric. Next up, we got barbell bent over row with a pronated grip for six reps and the tempo three, two, one, zero. So two second pause at the bottom, not at the top. This is my first warm up set. With your grip, you just want to be just outside of your legs. <sighs> Remaining in deadlift, and then we're up. Set number two. All right, we got four sets of this, of this guy. Here we go. A big problem that I see people make is screw their step ups as they're coming, or step backs as they're coming out of the rack. All we want to do is go one, two, and then do our exercise, or maybe take a third step just to evaluate. Same goes with a squat. If we're doing a squat, we want to spend as little, as, as little time as possible with the weight on our back. And same with the bent over row. We want to spend as little time as possible with the weight on our forearms because our forearms fatigue in this exercise. So watch me as I do this. I'll just take three steps. One, two, three, and then I'm good. Let's go. Now it's time to move on. Standing face pulls. Whew. Next we have standing face pulls for 12 reps. Oh. 
Oh, thinking of driving your elbows to the corners of the room. I'm gonna superset these with prone dumbbell lateral raises. These are also, these are also for 12 reps. Chill up. Five more reps. Technique's getting sloppy. I know this exercise isn't that tricky. I'm not gonna get injured if I do bad technique, but you have to hold yourself to a higher standard with reps. Because if you keep slipping over time, you'll have sloppy reps. Last set, keep your technique clean by keeping your chest on the bench.
Oh. Lastly, we're gonna finish with some dumbbell shrugs. We're gonna do four sets of anywhere between eight to 12. This time we're gonna go up to 42 kilos because we got 12 before a 40. See how we go. I think we found our weight. 42 kilos. Set three. Here we go. That's it for today. That's the Built by Brock back and bicep workout. Changed a little bit by me to suit my body. I don't really want bigger arms. I'm not trying to say that I have huge arms. Let me show you. I'm not trying to say that I have huge arms. I guess I just have, I'd rather direct that training volume to traps to help build my physique. Same thing with some of the other volume towards upper back and mid back. I try and spread that out to my lats because I feel my traps, my shoulders and my lats are a bit of a weaker body part for me and my strengths could be my chest uh, and my triceps and my biceps and that's about it. So when I do have volume in this program towards that, I usually change it to fit my body and I'd recommend you do the same if you're following Built by Brock or if you're following any other training program that isn't 1 million percent tailored to your body. I would consider pushing some training volume to lagging body parts that you have to improve your physique your way. That's it from me. I'll see you next video.